I'm Matt from I Know Football here with East Bay. I'm gonna to talk to you guys about some cleats. These are the Alpha Men's Elite cleats built for the most agile players in the game. I'm talking your quarterbacks, your tight ends, your linebackers. Nike built this cleat for players who want that elusive agility. Now let me tell you about some of the technology that Nike's packed into this cleat. In the upper, they started with fly knit to give you that ultra locked in feel that's gonna to mold to your foot. They also added fly wire that's gonna help with that fit. Now on the inside, to give it good cushioning and good support, they have a phylon midsole. On the bottom of the cleat, to give it good traction to help with that agility, Nike uses triangular studs, but they've actually taken out some of the weight where your foot doesn't apply pressure. East Bay offers over 15 different colorways of this cleat. I'm here with Solomon Thomas, and we're talking cleats. Now, I've got the Alpha Menace Elite cleats here. I know you wear the pros, yep. uh, but we're talking some people trying to understand what you like about wearing yeah. the pros on the field. I love the pros, they're light. I feel, I feel like my ankles are supported. The traction's ridiculous. I feel like I can move really well and bend in them. So that's why they're important for me because I always gotta bend that corner and be tight to my man, so. Now the traction is ridiculous. What about the cushioning in this cleat? Like, how comfortable are they uh, for you? They're very comfortable. You know, it's hard to find comfortable shoes for a size 16 foot, so yeah. <laughs> it helps out a lot that they're comfortable, yeah. That's the truth. Then, you know, East Bay sells these cleats. They've got the big sizes. He wears a size 16. Do you have a favorite East Bay memory? Definitely, yeah. So when I was growing up, oh, playing basketball, I always needed new cleats, and it was always impossible to find a size 16 cleat. And East Bay always had you know, a great shipping price, and they always had size 16 cleats, so they saved my life a lot of time. Let me tell you guys about the Vapor Untouchable Pro 3 cleats from Nike. Now, Nike redid this cleat from last year. They used a mesh upper. Now, this is going to mold to your foot. You can see how soft this is. Now they use a knit cuff that's gonna give you not just a su supreme fit, but it's also going to give you security around your ankle. On the bottom, they use the same pattern that they were using last year. It has the carbon. That's gonna give you some of that springiness. It's gonna help you accelerate a little bit faster. And then use the diamond studs that are in the cleat. This cleat is a vapor cleat, so it's all about speed. Now some of the positions that I recommend this for are gonna be all of your outside players, all of your speed players, including your speed backs. So your slot receivers, your wide receivers, some of your corners, and then even some of your DBs. Now East Bay offers over 15 different colorways of this cleat too. I'm here with Malik Jefferson, linebacker for the Cincinnati Bengals. And we're here to talk about some cleats. Uh, first of all, he's got two cleats in his hand. They're from East Bay. Um, before we get into those, why don't you tell the folks um, your favorite East Bay story? Um, I think my favorite East Bay story is back when I was in Pee Wee football, I was on my E team, so it's like the kind of the beginners level right after flag football. Um, I remember going to East Bay and actually looking up some cleats uh, at the time, and I don't know how I actually knew how to operate the computer, but uh, my dad told me to go find some cleats, so yeah. looked up cleats, and East Bay was the first thing that popped up. I had these Easton, like, uh, uh, really like I had rubber bottoms, like yep, $14 yeah. cleats. <laughs> Like they were universal for me because I used them when I was playing football and playing baseball. So yeah. um, I was so excited about those fourteen dollar cleats that I kept buying them every year. They were just like refreshers, but they worked perfectly for me. Because East Bay has the swaggy stuff, they have tons of options. So now we're going to talk about the cleats. Uh, you've got one Vapor Untouchable Pro Three. You've got one Alpha Menace Elite. Why don't you tell uh, the viewers here what you like about each cleat? So with this cleat, I wore this cleat last season. Um, I really like it because it's narrow, and I feel like when I run, I have a really wide foot, so um, I, sometimes I like wearing narrow cleats because it helps me run faster and move a lot better. Um, and this cleat especially, I like um, this right here, like right on the, the uh, like right on your big toe, basically. Uh, it's very comfortable, it's very, it fits very perfect for me. And then this cleat um, is more about just comfort, and it has nothing special to me. I like it really comfortable adjust to my foot whenever I put my foot in this shoe. So my foot is really fat, like it's really fat, it just be really wide and it works perfectly for me. So and those are some of the things that I like in it too. Definitely the uppers are both pliable so it fits a variety of foot shapes. Let me tell you guys about another cleat from Nike. These are the Vapor Untouchable 3 Elite cleats. These are also built for the fastest players in the game. So it uses a lot of the same technology that are in the, the Vapor Pros. I'm gonna start with the bottom of the cleat because it has the same plate at the bottom. It has that carbon, give you some of that springiness, it's gonna help you accelerate faster. It uses diamond studs to really dig into the ground and all types of surfaces. Now the upper is where it gets really special. In the upper, it uses fly knit. It's gonna to mold to your foot to give you that supreme fit. It's gonna fit a variety of foot shapes, including a little bit thinner, a little bit wider. Now, these are a little bit high. Now it's high for a reason. 
Instead of spatting, this has a built-in spat system. It's gonna lock in your foot, give you that support without limiting any of your mobility. Now East Bay offers over 15 different colorways of this model. Meet the Force Savage Elite Cleats. These are built specifically for linemen, both on the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball. These might be the most comfortable cleats ever built for a lineman. On the insole, they use Lunar Lawn, which is gonna give you that support and also bounce back and rebound. It also has Zoom Air, which is some of my favorite, super cushion. Now, when you think about this cleat, it's built for the trenches. It's got protection on the toe of the cleat. It's got protection in the heel with a thick heel counter. And it's got this thicker gauge fly wire to help you give that locked in feel. Now, they extend all the way up, all the way up the heel to give you that additional support. And then the lacing system. So here, it uses a thicker gauge cable, but when you get to the top, it actually allows you to slide your foot in. Look how wide this opens up so you can get your foot in, locked in, and get ready to play football. Now, East Bay offers over 15 different colorways of the four Savage Elites. Uh, I know that you're in the lows, not the highs. We got the high here. But I uh, just uh, wanted you to tell some of the folks here, what do you like about the cleats that you wear on the field? I just like the protectiveness that the cleat has. I mean, just right here with the little padding. You get stepped on, you get hit with a helmet, whatever, in a pile. You're good to go. Your feet aren't getting beat up. Your feet aren't getting the spike right into your foot. You know what I'm talking about. You ever get stepped on with a spike? Exactly yeah, what I'm talking about. it takes away the pressure. I mean, it, it still hurts a little bit. I mean, I'm not going to lie, but it takes away majority of the pressure. And it's just a nice cleat overall to cut uh, to, for speed and for protectiveness on top of it. So Grant just talked about all the protection of this cleat. Now I happen to know that these actually have zoom air as well. Have you noticed any difference in the cushioning when you wear these cleats when you're playing? In the cushioning, yes. It's more of a nice, nice cushion when you're going. It's not boom, hard impact like you're running on concrete right. <laughs> like some, but it's nice. It's a nice feel, nice fit, and it just makes you boom, come out of your routes quick when you plant. Can I do it again? How does it make you come out boom. of your routes? Boom, mm -hmm. just, boom. Just like that. So what's your favorite memory of East Bay? I know that you're familiar with them. We used to buy baseball bats off East Bay magazines when we were kids, like 10 to 12 years old. <laughs> Everyone would be having the East Bay magazine trying to buy the best baseball bat you can get. Well, I'm here with Trent Williams. We're going to be talking about the Nike Force Savage Elite cleats. Now that's what you wear on the field. All right. What do you really like about those cleats? Um, I like the, the new technology they put around the toe, where it basically protects us from getting our toes stepped on. You, you look at any offensive lineman or defensive lineman, they probably got one or two black toenails from yeah. getting, your, getting your foot, you know, basically shredded by other cleats. So, you know, that, that added protection at, at the, um, at the, around the toes and then um, on the inside of the grip give you a little more leverage to push off, especially when you're on turf. Um, it's just, it's overall, you know, it's a good cleat to play in. Now, that was specially made for this position. All of the protection on the toe and on the inside to give you some of that grip right, and right. different movements. Now, what about the cushioning of that cleat? What do you like about that? Oh, it feels like a cloud. You know, it's, it's, you can't ask for any better, especially when you get on a turf with hard surfaces when it gets oh, cold yeah. outside, you know, where um, it can feel like you're playing on, on concrete, so to say. So having that extra cushion, I mean, it, it, goes, it goes a long way. And that cushioning that he's talking about, that's a lunar lawn combined with the Zoom Air.